Brooklyn, and I'm going to show you how to start making your Lego minifigures in Illustrator. This should be a blast for the next couple of days. You guys all know Illustrator, you know anchor points, you know shapes. This is kind of your opportunity to be creative with it and do the things you want to do. So without uh, further ado, let's get started. First, you got to open up this Lego minifigure that I've saved for you guys under the student share drive, interactive media, Lego minifigures, and Holland examples. And you can always right click to view as a large icon. And the one we want is images. I've got a couple different examples here to see where, you know, college level, higher level students take this. But um, part of the reason we've been going over color schemes is the basic Lego figure. If you look right here, that's a triadic color scheme. Those are your primary colors. That's yellow, red, and blue. So the color theories and the color schemes we've been learning about all have practical application in the toy marketplace and in many other marketplaces. So here we go. We got this bad boy. But we kind of want to trace over it. We're going to be trying to replicate these shapes before we go to more complicated Lego minifigures. So first, we've got to hit F7 on the keyboard to bring up our layers. I see that we're in the right layer. And we want to go to Window all the way down to Transparency because since we're going to be tracing this, we don't want those solid. Let's nah, 14 is a little too light. You want to be living right around 30% for the transparency of this Lego minifigure. And then we're going to lock it. And we're going to make a new layer on top of it because this new layer on top of it is where we're going to be doing most of our work. One, two, three. We got a lot of different shapes here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to start with the easier shapes first. I'm going to start with the head and I'm going to start with the legs. And then I'm going to let you guys kind of feel out how to do these. But I'm going to give you a couple tips to point you in the right direction. Right over here, let's get this head. I'm going to right click rounded rectangle tool. And if you want, you can hold down shift and alt. Remember to pull out from the center. We want a black stroke. So we don't want no stroke. So let's double click there. And I think that that's about the right thickness for the Lego head. We're going to have to grab that node and stretch it out a little bit. But that's looking pretty good. Let's make the top part here. Let's just grab and go down. I'm going to have to go underneath, though, to make it look right. Don't you think? And I'm going to hold down Shift to get that curve. Nah, I like it better without holding down Shift. So we're going to do that. Then to make this its own independent shape, I'm going to have to go over here. Our old buddy, the Shape Builder, to make this its own independent shape. Then we can click the stuff we don't want. Oh. We don't want to click that much we don't want. We just want to get rid of this. There we go. But you see here right where my lines don't quite match up? That's where we're going to go to not the black arrow tool, because remember, that's our broadsword. We want our scalpel here, because we want to select this anchor point. And, whoop, that's a little too far. And move it to there. And we want to select this anchor point and bring it across to there. And maybe this whole, I think that that's a pretty good match. I think we've gotten that shape. So let's get to the next shape, the neck. Right click rounded rectangle because it looks like we have some harder edges here. We may not even need to pathfinder shape build that. That just works on its own. So what I want to get across to you is this. You can pretty much design your own Lego figure and make it what you want to be, whether that be, you know, from a Terminator movie. I don't know if you like uh, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, or if you just want to put um, makeup on it and decorate it. You can really make any kind of character or animation from this basic Lego minifigure and the shapes you see here in Illustrator. Let's go down here and take care of the feet and his pants, and then I'm going to let you guys get to work on the arms and the hands, which can be a little trickier. Let's use a square for that. Then we can use the black arrow tool. Remember, holding down Alt on our keyboard is going to duplicate. Very easy. And since we know we want this about to be the same shape, we can duplicate this part too. That's going quick. I think I'm going to show you guys how to do the tougher parts and then let you guys figure that out on your own. The way I would do these arms, these hands, let's start with a rectangle. I don't want it rounded. But we're going to be manipulating the anchor points and adding 
You can see that arm there? It goes in a little bit, so I want something there. And I'm going to move this in. And I want to round it, so I'm going to have to fool with these handles. You get that right. And that's close, but that's not perfect. We can also do things like make the anchor point here. And drag that up just a little bit, and that's getting closer. So if we were to move this here, hit R, as we learned last week, to rotate it a little bit. We're starting to get the elements of that hand. And if I zoom out, you guys can see how in just a couple minutes, really, if I go to window, I need to do that, just hit F7. Really starting to build my own Lego guy using just the shape and just the anchor point and a couple movement tools inside Illustrator. So hopefully that helps you guys get started. Use your creativity and have fun in these next couple days before Turkey Day getting your Lego minifigures knocked out. Thank you for your time.